Hey, everybody. <laughs> it's Norm here from Wyak Mobile Device Repair. And I'm coming back to you today. I want to talk a little bit about Mozilla Firefox. And particularly, I want to talk about the feature that uh, that they have, which is called containers. Um, I think starting in version 58, uh, it may have been an earlier version, they introduced this concept of uh, of containers. So in order to think about a container the proper way, I guess it's best just to show you. So I'm going to, uh, I've already got Firefox open here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a couple of different uh, tabs. So I'm going to say, I'm going to go to Honda. And uh, I think it will go to Tesla. Right. Um, where else? Where else can we go? We'll go to Yahoo. <laughs> there you go. We'll go to Yahoo. Um, <laughs> Bill Cosby. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, anyways. <clears throat> so, as you notice, I got these four tabs open. You know, we've got the start page. Uh, I've got Honda open. I've got Tesla. And I have Yahoo open in tabs here. Um, each one of them has their own tabs. Everybody should be very familiar with how to use tab um, tab browsing. The one big drawback to to, to traditional browsing like this um, is that all of these panels, um, all these tabs, share the information between them. So, for instance, Yahoo. If you go down here, Yahoo knows that I've been on Tesla and that I'm looking at Teslas, and they know that I've been on a Honda. Um, and so, uh, given enough time, you start browsing through here, and I'm going to start seeing um, ads. And those ads are going to most likely will show me car manufacturers at a minimum. Maybe some of those ads will be Honda ads, and maybe some of them will be uh, Tesla ads. Um, but the the reason I'm getting targeted that way is on Yahoo's website is because they share the same resources on my computers. In particular, um, they each have access to each other's cookies. And they can sniff through the cookies, for lack of a better word. <laughs> I use that cautiously. I don't want you to think that they're they're spying on you or anything like that. But I do want – but but you can think of it this way, is that they, they kind of they, – they can share the information between each other and better target you. Uh, and, and show you ads that are potentially more relevant um, to the things that you're interested in, which is helpful. There's nothing wrong with that. I, I, I don't personally have a, an issue with that. Um, but there are times that you don't want to be targeted um, for ads and probably the, the uh, or or you don't want your browser to know um, what you're doing online, um, you know, or, or your sessions to know. What you're doing online. So, the 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 perfect example would be if you say are working from home, or may, maybe you're at work uh, as well, and you know uh, you you are browsing Facebook or browsing the news or something like that, but you're also accessing your your email or maybe it's your company email, maybe it's your personal email, depending on on the scenario. But let's just say you work from home and you're accessing your company email through their, through their um, web email service. Well, if you're accessing your, your company's web email um, in this, uh, in this manner here. Um, so I, I'll go to my, um, my website just to, just to demonstrate. <sighs> This we'll just say that this is my company email. Um, so it, now I'm on here. The, the session for my company email is the same that uh, that is Yahoo can see, Tesla can see, uh, um, Honda can see, and well, my star page could see as well. So that information is shared between all all the tabs that are open that you have open. So Mozilla introduced this idea of containers. 
to solve this problem. They said, all right, well, you know, how can we make it more private? Let's do this. Let's create a tab, a special type of tab that is, um, it, it is, uh, uh, it, it contains only the information that it needs inside that tab and it can't share outside of that. Um, and so it, it, it it's kind of like logging into a whole new browser session. Um, when you, when you use these, uh, containers. So let me show you what I mean. Um, they have a couple of different types of tank containers by default right now. Um, stock Mozilla uh, or st stock Firefox uh, version 66. Uh, when you download and install that, it's going to create a container given to you specifically designed for Facebook. So whenever you visit facebook.com and you log into that using Firefox, it's automatically been sandboxed. It's automatically done for you, put into its own container, and nothing more than you need to do. That's the default functionality of it, out of the box. And really, it seems to me, and that was and that's a pretty clear, uh, a pretty clear indicator. That that was the whole reason behind this um, was to contain the Facebook pixel and to stop that from creeping over in all of your browsing uh, activities. So it just so also happens to be that it's a pretty cool feature to be able to do that um, with everybody else and anybody else. So what you can do there's there's two different ways. Um, out of the box, you can install, you, you can use a contemporary container. So now if I go to, we'll go here, back to, to my site, wagmobiledevice.repair. If you go go to, the, to that um, to that site there, um, we'll just say that this is your work email. Um, it does not know anything about this particular session here. These two are contained within each other. Um, and because it's temporary, when you close that temporary session, it's gone. It's gone forever. Everything that's done it. So it's kind of like um, private browsing, which I think, um, uh, you know, Google's had uh, for a long time um, and as well as uh, Firefox. But it's only it's it, but it's slightly different. Um, it, it, it's different in that that information is still trackable. Um, for for lack of a better word, <laughs> um, but it's the but 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 the co the session information is non restorable, so it's not quite to the same same degree as um, private browsing is. Um, what was it? Secret mode or spy mode? I forget. Um, I don't ever hardly ever use that. Um, you know, the only time actually I ever really use that is if I come across something that's kind of suspicious and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I, you got me. I'm, I'm, I'm interested. You know, I want to hear about the Nigerian, um, you know, King and, and investigate and see what he's got. He might have that $50 million I've been waiting on. Uh, you know, that's usually the, the, the kind of stuff where I'll open up those links into, um, into a private temporary session. So that way, when it goes away, it's gone I, and I don't care, you know, <laughs> um, but but here's a better um, but here's a better option. Install their plugin um, for um, Firefox containers, and it and it puts this little icon here on your on your um, browser bar. You just click on this, and now you can organize your tabs. So the example to think of is um, let's just say I have I don't know three Gmail addresses, right? Under the normal browsing situation, you couldn't log into all three of those accounts um, at the same time. Um, you'd have to use multiple browsers to do that. But with containers, you could use the same browser, um, the same Firefox, and log into all three different accounts um, and those would uh, you, those would all be open in the same browser, um, and they wouldn't be able to share information amongst themselves. That is one of the the beauties of it. Likewise, if you know, I have two Twitter accounts, you know, and I might want to see my two Twitter accounts both at the same time. Um, and right now, what you'd have to do is, you know, again, log into one Twitter account, 
sign out, log into it again to see the other one with, with, uh, or use two browsers with containers. I can view both Twitter accounts, both Twitter feeds at the same time. Pretty cool stuff. So as indicated by this little blue personal here, um, and by this blue lineup here, you can tell that this tab is a container and it's, um, and it's been organized into the personal side, but you can have more, more than that. You've got work banking because you might want your banking information kind of segregated from everything else. Shopping likewise, you know, if you're out there shopping, you, you, you may want to just strictly shop and not be targeted um, and just get it done and get it over with. And the, using a container just to go shopping is a great thing to do. Um, and of course, you can open up a new Facebook tab, although it automatically does that for you. So, um, and you can add your own containers. If you've got something, I don't know, that, you know, that, that, that um, research or, you know, or, you know, product development or something like that, or, uh, it, you know, espionage, who knows? <laughs> yeah, you can create your, um, your own containers and organize them in what, what, um, in the manner that you need to. So I'll open up another one here and we'll call this one work and I'll put my mobile device repair in it. There we go. So I go to the website, bang, this container, this tab here knows absolutely nothing about this tab here and vice versa. This one does not know a thing about this one. Unlike this tab and this tab and this tab, all of these guys share information among themselves. Um, but they knew nothing about these two and these two are independent as well. They knew nothing about the other ones. So it's kind of like, Oh, see no evil, see, hear no evil, speak no evil. You know, the three monkeys. So that is a brief introduction to Mozilla containers. I, I think that, um, they are, they're, they're something special and, um, it's a great way to browse the internet and segregate the content um, and just organize your, your tabs as well. I mean, just for organizational purposes, that's really cool to be able to say, I'm going to browse by, you know, X amount of browsers here are going to be labeled or um, X amount of tabs are going to be for personal and, you know, and, and just have a, have them at a glance and be able to stay in, 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 um, and uh, and to be able to quickly look at them and organize them that way. Pretty cool stuff. So thank you for listening to me rant. And uh, hopefully these will get a little bit better. I'm just getting used to public speaking or quasi public speaking. I am not the best speaker. <laughs> um, but at the same time, I'm a much better writer than I'm a speaker. But I don't have a whole lot of time at the moment. And some things you just you have to be shown um, versus um, being able to describe it. So uh, while I'm a, I think I'm a decent writer, I am not a great writer. And by no means could I, uh, after several attempts at trying to do a write up on how to explain tabs, it just was not coming together. <laughs> so this is what you get. Voila. Um, Enjoy. Please subscribe. I'm going to try to post some more interesting content. Um, speaking of containers, I'm thinking about doing some stuff on um, Docker uh, and Docker containers as well as LXC. Um, I've just got to get my my uh, screen recording stuff set up on uh, on my Linux box, and then I can show you some uh, LXC stuff, which I think would be interesting. And maybe, you know what, I think I might even try some, I think what's it, um, bash for windows, uh, and go through a tutorial about that, um, which is some pretty cool stuff. Uh, but that's just down the road. Uh, again, cool stuff that I can actually do and, um, uh, and show you versus writing. So thank you for your time and, uh, have a good night.